My role is a bit of everything. Um, I'm a bits of girl, I call myself. Um, I do a lot of um, the um, logistics, sales, marketing, um, planning itineraries, which I love doing, especially those private ones, which are um, unusual. Um, and then I'll be out guiding. Um, I'll be on the bikes, on guided tours. I'll be out four-wheel driving with the guys sometimes. Um, so anything and everything. Um, I've probably got um, oh, about over 30 years of tourism industry background. Um, I started out many, many years ago in hospitality, but then moved into tourism. Um, I've been a tourism lecturer in TAFE for quite a few years. I've had my own guiding business. I was a travel agent for quite a few years um, and I've travelled extensively, which um, I can't wait to get back to. Um, but yeah, so I've always been involved um, in tourism. I think one of my first things that I wanted to do when I left school was just travel, travel around Australia. So I did that as well. So. I just have a passion for this industry and this community and, this, um, and Port Lincoln and the region. And it just sort of sits with me really well. Um, and I think it's just making people realise what we have in this region that is just so superb and so uh, exciting, um, untouched, and that's what I just love about it. And, um, and I'm living where I want to live, so it's a good job. I think one of the best animal experiences that I really, really get a kick out of is seeing the Rosenberg Guana um, because they're just massive. They're like a little mini Komodo dragon. Um, and I think when, when, we're, when we're on tour and we actually see them, and we stop and it's just amazing to see them because for years and years and years I've been out in the national parks for since I was a little girl and you didn't see them anywhere um, and I didn't even know they existed so it's a it's a real privilege to actually see them because they've actually grown in their population um, and uh, it's just a great uh, conservation effort by the national parks to get them up to, to that sort of place but yeah that's really really cool yeah so massive. I'm at home, <laughs> which I love, um, but I'm either at the beach, um, I'm not camping enough as I'd like to be, but I wish I was more, um, but I'm walking or I'm on one of the electric mountain bikes or I'm just sort of doing something active um, and generally with the kids and the family. So that's, yeah. this is a really hard one because there's so many beautiful places and I could say a beach, but I'm actually gonna say something slightly different um, and every time I go there I just am all struck by our coastline and it's actually um, climbing up the top of Mount Greenlee so I just love going up there that the it's only a small hike but it's it's can be a bit intense but just sitting up there and you've got this 360 degree view of the coastline um, and then you've also got the farmland and the, the lake behind that it's just beautiful Just relax, let it go, speak to locals because they're always friendly, wave to everybody where you go because that's something that we do on this coastline when we drive along, it's your wave. Um, just enjoy it and you know sometimes the best thing is to actually get in with a local, be it with us or with somebody else but they know all the secret spots so um, definitely talk to locals.